What's good, YouTube? Your boy SO, 8787 Productions. Uh, today, just wanted to talk about freeing up some hard drive space in Final Cut Pro. Uh, those of us who do music videos or just deal with video files in general know that you can run through a hard drive fairly quick. So I just have a quick tip on how to free up some space in Final Cut. Mind you, this is for when your video is already finished, everything is finalized, the client is happy, uh, you already exported your master file, you've already exported your YouTube file. If you need to do an IG clip, you got that. You don't plan on going back to the project no time soon and everything is good. So this is when you want to do this. What you do is go up to file, delete generated library files, click on delete render files, click all, and if you created optimized media or proxy media, then you wanna click on these as well, hit okay, and then just let Final Cut go through and get rid of everything. Uh, you'll notice that it frees up a lot of hard drive space. Uh, it's smart to go through all your old projects that you're done with and do the same thing because it's taking up a lot of space unnecessarily. Now you can also go through and delete the original footage if you never plan on going back to it, but I like to keep mine just because uh, you might want to go back and re-edit it or just play around with it or practice um, color grading on it or if you're going to start doing tutorials, then it's good to have footage laying around that you could utilize for that. But it does take up a lot of space. Uh, for instance, in my Mac, I have two hard drives dedicated strictly for video footage. One is two terabytes, one is one terabyte. As you can see, it's about time to get another one or I just need to go through and delete some of that old footage that I know I'm never gonna go back to. If you do wanna keep your original footage and you have created optimized media and you have created proxy media, always delete the proxy or the optimized media. Never delete your original footage because because it's untouched, it's raw, it's straight out of the camera. Uh, once you transcoded the optimized media or proxy media, is compressed. Always remember you could create more optimized media and proxy media from your original footage, but you can't get your original footage back from the proxy or the optimized media once you delete it. So always keep the original footage. Always delete the optimized proxy when you're done with the project. It'll just free up so much space for you. Also, while we're talking about hard drives, I mean, it's pretty much common knowledge, but for those who don't know, and those who do have access to a extra hard drive, whether you have a Mac Pro or you just have an external hard drive that's pretty fast, it's beneficial to run your footage off a separate hard drive. And there's two reasons for that. You don't want to run the footage on your operating system hard drive where the program is because it's going to run slower. It runs a lot smoother on a separate hard drive. And number two, if your operating system drive ever crashes, all your footage and all your projects are gone. I've been through it before, so now I keep my footage on separate hard drives. But yeah, if you find this video helpful at all, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, have any questions feel free to ask thank you for your time